students welcome back for another session of unit 1 that is units and measurement of grade 11 cbse syllabus so what were the things that we studied previously unit system of units advantages of si system different units of measurement dimensional formula of physical quantity and then this use of dimensions okay use of dimensions was the last one to check the correctness and what we will study now in this video we will find out how to apply dimensional analysis to derive an dimensional equation let's start so first let's recap what we studied the dimensional formula of some physical quantities we did so these are the physical quantities as such the 20 main physical quantities that we need to remember revise and the simple thing is you remember their formula the dimensions are done let's move forward so today what we will do to derive and dimensional equation okay so methods we will ex understand with the help of an example the example here is that what is given the centripetal force C what is the thing given to you the centripetal force okay and acting on a particle depends okay what are the factors on which it depends it depends on mass velocity and radius so how to do this question first of all write all the factors given in the question affecting the given physical quantity with the proportionality sign and put the powers a b and c so on let's understand this so in this question the centripetal force f depends that's why the proportionality sign on what mass to the power of a velocity to the power of b radius to the power of c okay now what was the next step this is step one they say remove the sign of proportionality and put a constant k yes so we remove the sign of proportionality put an equal to sign and put k and then the same thing is written again okay this is step two step three put the dimension of all the physical quantities okay so what we did force is mlt minus two k is dimensionless leave that m is m v is lt minus 1 and r is l and the powers are still kept please keep the powers okay then we rearrange the things okay here l was having at two places so l to the power of b and l to the power of c so l to the power of b plus c and t can be written as minus of b okay this is step 3 step 4 equate the power of m l and t on both sides of an equation and find the value of a b c okay so from this i can say here m is 1 here m is to the power of a so a is equal to 1 then uh, that is for m okay can i say b plus c is equals to 1 that is for l and i can say minus of b is equals to minus of 2 that's for on solving the equations obviously the first uh, a and b i can easily see a is 1 b is 2 and c is minus 1 okay that was step number 4 the last step put the value of a b and c in the equation obtained in the second step that is here you need to put the values okay so therefore f is equal to k m to the power of it was a, a is 1 so m to the power of 1 v to the power was b that's 2 and r to the power of c that is minus 1 or it can be written as f equal to k mv square by r i hope you have understood this still don't worry we have a few examples let's see the first example the first example is that period of oscillation okay depends on length okay mass and acceleration due to 
gravity okay we have to derive the formula for time period so what was the first step do you remember what we need to do we have to write t is proportional to l to the power of a m to the power of b and g to the power of c okay then the second step was remove the proportionality sign put k and the same thing is repeated again okay the hint for you the dimensions because next step you need to put the dimensions okay the dimension for g is lt minus 2 so we put the dimensions of t which is t k is dimension left l is l m is m and g as we said lt minus 2 to the power of c now let us rearrange m to the power of b l is here and here so a plus c okay and t to the power of minus c now what can i say there is no m so m to the power of 0 that's b equal to 0 no l that means a plus c is equals to 0 and minus of 2c is equals to 1 because here is t so what can i say okay on solving what am i getting a is equals to 1 by 2 from this if c is minus 1 by 2 a will be positive 1 by 2 b is 0 and c is equals to minus of 1 by 2 okay so put the values in this equation so this is what we get and rearranging we get t is equals to k under root of l by g let's take another example children now in this example okay what are the things and on which factors are they depending wavelength okay depends planck's constant mass and velocity let's try it so lambda is proportional to h to the power of a m to the power of b and v to the power of c remove proportionality sign put a constant k okay the dimension formula for h which you need to put in this is ml to t minus 1 okay for lambda it is l for h it is ml to t minus 1 for m it is m and for v it is lt minus 1 let's rearrange what we get okay m is a plus b l is 2a plus c and t is minus of a minus of c okay so can we say a plus b equal to 0 because m is not there so a plus b is equals to 0 2a plus c is equals to 1 and minus of a minus of c is equals to 0 on solving a equal to 1 b equal to minus 1 and c is equals to minus 1 so let's put the value in the second equation so lambda is equal to k h to the power of 1 m to the power of minus 1 v to the power of minus 1 or this can be written as lambda is equal to k h upon m v to next one okay here i'm not highlighting because i hope by this time you must have understood what to do okay we have to find for rate of flow that is v okay depends on r potential gradient i will take this whole time as 1 okay and coefficient so can we write v is proportional to r to the power of a p by l to the power of b and neta to the power of c remove the sign of proportionality put the constant k now what about the dimensions children the most important thing is this rate of flow of a liquid now a liquid flows with a volume and rate means per unit time so volume upon time so the dimensions of v are l cube t minus 1 here it is pressure by length so it is ml minus 2 t minus 2 and coefficient of viscosity ml minus 1 t minus 1 okay so let's put the dimensions we have put the dimensions let's rearrange so this is the rearrangement here you can see on the left hand side m is not there so b plus c is equals to 0 okay l is there so a minus 2b minus c is equals to 3 and minus of 2b minus of c is equals to minus 1 on solving we get a equal to 4 b equal to 1 and c equal to minus 1 let's put in this equation so v is equals to k r4 into p by l to the power of 1 and neta to the power of minus 1 or it can be rearranged in this manner let us move forward to the next example okay now children here 
force velocity and time in are taken as the fundamental you know, don't worry don't worry what we need to find dimensions of work okay it's simple so can we write work is proportional to f to the power of a v to the power of b and t to the power of c see we can write that then remove the sign of proportionality put the constant k okay the dimensions of work are ml to t minus 2 f is ml t minus 2 and v is lt minus 1 you already know all this okay now what we have done we have put the dimensions let's rearrange okay rearrange okay m is there on both sides so can i say a equal to 1 okay a plus b is equals to 2 and minus of 2a minus of b plus c is equals to minus 2 let's solve them on solving what are we getting a is 1 b is 1 and c is 1 okay so let's put the values so what are we getting here the next one the next one a gas bubble from an explosion under water oscillates with a time period okay so t is proportional to p which is pressure d which is density and e is energy so t is proportional to p to the power of a d to the power of b and e to the power of c remove proportionality put a constant k okay we need the dimensions we have put the dimensions of all the things okay then rearrange that means a plus b plus c is equals to 0 minus a minus 3b plus 2c is equals to 0 minus of 2a minus of 2c is equals to 1 on solving we get a equal to minus 5 by 6 b is 1 by 2 and c is equals to 1 by 3 let's put the values so it is k p to the power of minus 5 by 6 d to the power of 1 by 2 e to the power of 1 by 3 okay it can be rearranged and written t is equal to k d to the power of 1 by 2 e to the power of 1 by 3 divided by p to the power of 5 by 6 okay the last question children construct a physical quantity having dimensions of length okay so i need to find length okay that means l is proportional to g to the power of p to c to the power of q and h to the power of r remove proportionality put a constant k okay put the dimensional values rearrange so that means minus of p plus r is equals to 0 3p plus q plus 2r is equals to 1 minus of 2p minus of q minus of r is equals to 0 on solving what we get p is half q is minus 3 by 2 and r is equals to 1 by 2 let's put the values so l is equals to k g half g to the power of half c to the power of minus 3 by 2 h to the power of 1 by 2 rearranged and written this way so let's quickly recap what we studied in today's session okay so topic study how to derive a dimensional equation the first step was write all the factors in the equation okay put the proportionality sign and powers a b c so on okay remove the sign of proportionality put a constant k along with an equal to sign then put the dimensions then it was equate the powers on both sides to find the value of a b c then it was put the values in the second way place to find an answer okay this is what we studied and what was the other thing we did a few examples to understand the concept now is the time to do a few questions so the assignment is there for you these are your assignment questions just go through the assignment questions there are more and come back for the next video to have an answer of all these assignment questions thank you so much god bless you